Hey guys, welcome back to the course. In this lecture, we're gonna talk about what's the difference between wireframing, mockups, and what's a prototype. Now, you've probably heard me mention this already in the course, and I use them interchangeably. And the reason I use them interchangeably is because each word uh, has a different meaning, but they all kind of overlap. I think it's really important to get this out of the way so you understand what it is I'm referring to, because really there are three different things. So what's a wireframe? A wireframe is also known by other names. Now the one name is a skeleton, but what it is is it's a visual representation of the layout of your site or your mobile application. Wireframes often look like they're designed with wires, and that's where the name comes from. Because if you were to look at it, it looks like it was designed with wire on a piece of paper. Now, often what you'll see is that they're designed nowadays with a sketchy kind of style where it looks like it's hand drawn and it has rough edges and uh, lines aren't perfectly straight. And that's a very popular convention. Now, wireframes, they're not meant to be pretty. In fact, actually, they look kind of ridiculous when you see them. The point is though that they're meant to show the organization of your site application and they're meant to show what's the actual layout of where everything goes. Sometimes a wireframe will have copywriting, um, will have text in it, so it will have headlines already written into it. Now, sometimes they also don't. Sometimes they have generic text like lorem ipsum or just gibberish. Now, why that is that some people decide to put real actual content into their wireframe and why some don't, that's an entirely different point, but we're gonna cover that later. Wireframes, they often look like placeholders for an actual website. Um, and, but when you do look at them, you do get a vague understanding of what the site should look like because they always use very common elements that are used across every single page. We'll cover later what common elements are but if you've seen a wireframe, you'll recognize it because they look like pretty much any website or mobile application you've been to, um, and they have basic uh, things that you see across all of them. Sometimes a wireframe will have a little bit of color in them, but for the most part, uh, a wireframe does not concern itself with graphic detail. So that's what a wireframe is. And if you've been paying attention to the visuals in this lecture, you can see roughly what they look like, and I'm sure you've probably seen them. Um, there's a really actually famous image that floats around and I'll bring it up right now. Uh, this is actually the first wireframe for Twitter. As you can see, it was actually written out and we'll cover later uh, what are the popular ways that people wireframe. But one of the most popular ways that people do this is actually just with a pen and paper. Now, this is a great example of what this actually ended up becoming. Uh, and it's interesting to see this is like the very beginning, the genesis of this thing that we all use called Twitter. Now, a prototype, it's quite a bit different. A prototype is an actual simulation of what your application is going to do. And in many cases, it's actually a reduced version of the application that you're going to build. They're meant to look as close as possible to whatever uh, application or idea or website that you're gonna launch or build. Thank you.